Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. I'd like to welcome you to this card making project and this is project 507 for anybody that's following the numbers. Now I know you see more of me and I hope that's going to continue. I don't normally show my face on this side of the camera but so many people enjoyed watching episode 500 and seeing me that I think it's nice for you to be able to put a face to the name. Now in this project we're going to use lots of our Anna Griffin goodies and we're going to use the all square die set. This is new to me and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be one of my favourites I'm sure. Everything I do use I should put in a detailed list on the blog so please be sure to check it out. There's also the item numbers for uh, my friends in the UK and the HSN links for my friends across the pond. You can direct message me through my blog and you can always get in touch through Facebook as well because I do love hearing from you and I do try and reply to you within a few days. You know what it's like, life's hectic, but you can now comment again on YouTube and I can reply. So that's, you know, a big thing for me because it was so terrible not being able to reply to you. It made me seem really rude and I'm not. So I just hope that you enjoy the projects. Let's take a look at what we're going to be using in project 507. These are the dies that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using the all square dies from Anna, something very new. We're going to be using the large die and the shadow layer. We're going to be using the circle die and the shadow layer. Now I've got to say something I've forgotten to mention in the introduction. If you aren't keen on die cutting this is not the card for you this card could be quite overwhelming with the die cutting the amount that there is don't let it put you off watch the video and then have a go because it's kind of like if you don't try it you'll never know it will look as though you have spent days on the card this is a humdinger of a card this one i promise you so we're also going to be using Anna's Sentiment Stamps and Dies. That's what they're called, Sentiment Stamps and Dies set. Um, it's slightly older set. And um, for my friends in the UK, we had this on QVC. My friends across the pond, you had this on HSN. It is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of my most used stamp and die sets. Everything mixes and matches with the sizes. And it is a go-to set for your sentiments. So those are what we're going to be using to make this card. Now the die cutting that's been involved in this card and the preparation. It is just, it doesn't bear thinking about. Uh, there's quite a lot. So let's crack on and make our card. I'm using one of the 6x6 um, six six Anna Griffin Perfect Pattern Card Bases. Now this is just a very plain um, a muted colour for the background because I didn't want anything too bright because this card is predominantly going to be ivory so I just wanted something for it to sit on really I'm going to use my bow folder even though this is one of Anna's cards just to make sure that crease is nice and sharp on the back of the card I've added my name and then the recipient will know who's made the card for them. So let's create the inside first. Now the inside, our base layer is actually the shadow layer from the actual um, all square die set. So all I've done is die cut it in ivory cardstock from Anna and then I've tapped a gold ink pad around the edge and then I've clear embossed it with heat. That's all, simply tap the ink pad Put your clear embossing powder on it, use your heat tool, heat it up and it just gives it that vintage edge. Really pretty, something a little bit different to try. So I've got flat tape on it and I'm just going to add it kind of to one edge of the card, not through the centre, just, just a little bit off to the bottom if you can see that so next as I said this card is kind of like a humdinger um, it, I'm not bothered about 3D stickers in the middle 
we're just going for it on this card. So I'm not bothered about the height in the insert or anything. I've used the circle and the all square die set, both the shadow and the top ornate layer, both in Anna's ivory cardstock. Again, I've tinted the edge of the actual shadow layer. Um, I've been quite naughty, I've left all the tape on the ornate layer and that is naughty of me. I thought I'd prepped quite well. So we'll just quickly take this off and then we can add this to our shadow layer and add it to our insert. So they marry up perfectly like that. Now where I've inked the edges again and used the clear embossing powder, heat embossing powder, you can just see that around the edge like that. And then on the back I've got double sided tape. So I'm going to add this to the insert of my card just about there I would say. So I've got a little bit of room. Now I've taken one of the flowers from the Favourite Flower Set 1 collection. I'm going to peel the back of this away and I'm going to add this just to the edge of our circle die, like so. Now this sentiment, it says good luck, this is the smaller circle die from the sentiment stamp and die set. I've heat embossed it with gold, stamped it um, using gold ink so it's just nice and you can see it's nice and shiny and I'm going to tuck that just kind of under the flower for the centre of the ornate all square even though it's a circle die. And that's our insert complete. What a pretty insert. Now that's kind of going to show you where we're going to go with the outside. But the outside, I swear the decorating for this is just phenomenal. So that's all your space for your sentiments and you can write to, from, etc. So now we're going to go to the outside. I'm going to use my bone folder. Now I know I've got a 3D sticker on the inside but I'm still going to use that just to make sure that edge is nice and sharp. I didn't take it over the sticker. Okay, now the first layer of the outside isn't going to be the shadow die as it is. What I've done, and I've taken photos of this and I'm going to put it on the blog because I've marked it out as well. And I'll show you how I've marked it. Well, I don't show you how to mark it out, but I'll show you the marking so that if you want to do this, you don't have to remember what I've said. So I've taken the shadow layer and I've die cut an ornate layer. Now the shadow layer I've tipped with the ink pad and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. The actual ornate layer, all I've done is add 3D foam towards the edge. Now this is one of the things where you'll see, when you see the photos, you'll see what I mean. I've got 3D foam towards the edge and I've got flat tape in the middle and you can see I've drawn a cross on it. Now that's going to be for your benefit for the photos. I don't need it for this bit, but you will do, maybe. So I'm putting one layer over the previous layer. I'm going to turn it over I'm going to press it down. Now you can see on the back of the shadow layer how I've got it divided into four. Again the photos will be on the blog just to show you where I've divided it and how I've put the tape on it. Now we're going to cut this and I'm going to simply trim it through the centre and then I'm going to trim both sides in half so it's going to give me four corners okay so now each corner has a section of tape and the 3d foam 
So all I'm going to do is take the edge to the edge of the card. And then I'm going to do this in all four corners, like so. Just going to turn it round so I can see the edge. And there we go. And then the fourth one, like that. And now you're thinking, oh, I'm Marie, you've lost your marbles. Now for our next layer, we're going to use more die cutting. We've die cut the circle and the shadow layer from the all square set. Again, all in ivory. And we've shadow tipped it on, um, ink tipped the shadow layer. And then I've cut the circles in half. Again, it's on the web, um, on my blog. Got 3D foam at the top and flat tape at the middle. I've cut out two circles and cut them up so I've got four sections. And I'm simply going to add the sections over the area between the corners we've just made. You see how they're just covering that area up? So there's four half circles. There we go. And the last one there. Just make sure we're the right way around. So those half circles cover the corners that we created. Our next layer is the full shadow layer and ornate layer. Again, I've ink tipped the edge and used clear embossing powder. I've die cut the um, ornate layer and that's got 3D foam on it. So I can just marry the two up, one over the top of the other. And then I've got 3D foam on the shadow layer as well. And I'm going to place this on our card and over our previous layer, like so. There we go. Next, I've die cut the circle and the shadow layer. Again, I've ink tipped and heat embossed the shadow layer. 3D foam on the back of the ornate layer, but flat tape on the back of the shadow layer, like so. Because even though we're going to have lots of layers, some of them are going to, you know, do want some of them flat. So now we can add this to the centre of our card, like that. So we've built that up. Next we've got our sentiment. Now our sentiment says just for you. This is stamped from the sentiment and die collection that I showed you at the beginning. Um, and it's just in gold ink and gold heat embossing powder. And the die is from the sentiment and stamp um, collection as well. 3D foam on the back of it. And I'm just simply going to add it in the centre of our card. Now I'm going to add some flowers and these are gorgeous flowers from the favourite flower set one. I've taken the back of it off, I've got 3D foam at the side and that's going to enable me to add one flower roughly there I would say, one flower where should we have this one? Maybe there. Took the edge of the stalk under the layer. And our final flower, again from the same collection with 3D foam just on one edge, then it will take hold at the side where it sits. We can add that. I think we'll take that around the sentiment like that. There we go. 
and then we can finish our card with a little bow and I'm thinking maybe over the greenery again you're all shouting at home put it here put it there maybe add one tail under the rose there that would look nice because we don't want to cover the flower up there lots and lots of layers on that and it just looks so pretty that's the inside that's the outside stands up perfectly and um, for your postage you might just want a little bit of extra padding for that so this is our finished card from today what a gorgeous card on the outside and the inside don't forget to check my blog where there's plenty more photos of the actual project and the detailed list of the items that we've used so it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.